Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to make this adorable little plant charm out of clay. So here's how it looks like and let's get on with the video. So to make the plant's base, um, you're going to be needing some pink clay and uh, I'm just going to roll it into a ball and then now for the plant itself you actually need green. So I'm just using these colours, yellow and green, to make a pretty light or lime cactusy type of colour green, or tea green basically. So I just keep on mixing this until I'm happy with the colour. I, you guys can add more colours if you want, um, but I'm just happy with this. Now for the base of the plant, basically the soil that the plant is on top of, I'm going to be using some brown clay, just like over there. I'm going to be rolling that into a ball and setting it aside with the other clay. I like putting them all together so I can just take it whenever I want and I don't have to take it out of the packet. So now we're ready to start. Now with the pink clay I'm just going to cut it in half and I'm going to save the other one for later and you'll see why. Now what I'm going to do is just roll the piece of clay just like that, just soften it a bit more and then I'm just going to shape it in a pot shape. Um, also guys, um, I'm really happy like with how this turned out in the end. And um, I just thought it'd be nice to teach you guys this. So I hope you guys can make it as well. Anyway, back to crafting. So I just shape it into a pot shape. Just adjust it according to what I like. You guys can change the sizes if you don't really like it. I'm just happy with mine, so I'm just adjusting the edges, the corners, the shape, the sides and everything. And that's how I like it. And now moving on to the um, border, the pink border of the pot. I'm just using some pink clay and I'm just rolling it across. And I'm just going to roll it a little bit more about the width width of the pot so it can wrap around it. I'm just rolling it a little bit thinner and then once I have it rolled down and everything I just go ahead and flatten my um, little clay roll so I just flatten it down. It doesn't have to be perfect this is just going around the pot and we can adjust it later. So now what I do is just I go ahead and take my cutter and I just cut the ends so they're a bit more neat and so they're equal and then I'm gonna set this aside for later and you guys will know why soon before we apply that strip onto our pot we'll be needing some brown clay just shape it into a square about the size of the pot it doesn't have to be exact but I'm just doing this measurement so all you have to do is just make it kind of like into a square, not really a perfect square, just like a kind of circly square. Now I'm just going to adjust the size a little bit because, um, yeah, so I'm going to be just fixing that up a little bit. And this is basically the soil for the pot. And there, I'm just adjusting it right there. And I think I'm happy with that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and get your pot that is ready. And you're just going to place the soil on top of it. Um, okay, so just put it on top and leave it like that. Just push it down or press it down a little so it's into the pot a bit. Now, this is not completely done yet. And you'll see why and how I'll get the texture for the soil. It's actually really simple to get the texture of the soil. It's probably a basic thing in the house. Um, so basically, for the texture of the soil, what I did is... I used um, a needle so you guys might have a needle and it's really easy to make the texture you can um, so basically like I'm doing it you can texture it and like give it dots and that literally gives this soil effect into the plant I'm just making some dots some holes just swirling it around inside the pot and yeah that's what really gives it the detail you can do it as long as you want just make sure to do it on the soil and not the pot now guys instead of a needle if you can't find one in your home you can also use a brush um, a paintbrush an old toothbrush 
Um, anything with um, a, like a spiky edge to it or like a brushy effect, that will really give the soils effect really well. So this is what I'm using. You guys can you probably use it too and yeah. So now once we've done with the soil, I'm just adjusting the pot a little bit just to my liking and yeah. So remember the other strip that we had taken off the pink? We are going to be attaching that on top of the soil pot so that it stays secure and it looks exactly how it did when I showed you it first. So I just wrap this around really neatly onto the soil and now it looks like it's, the soil is enclosed in the pot. Now if you have any excess, you can just cut it off or trim it and then just put it and wrap it around the other one and then we have the pot with the soil in it. This basically gives the soil effect and the pot effect and I really love this effect and I think it looks really cute. Now that I'm completed with the pot, I'm just going to give it a little bit more detail as I just wrapped around that stripe and the details could like go off a little bit and I just want to give it a bit more texture. Now for the main part of the plant, <laughs> the plant, so now I'm just going to use the green I made earlier, the green plus yellow mixture. This looks like a cactus color to me, I don't know why, but yeah, you guys can choose any green you like. Um, yeah, you can even use yellow or different color plants, it's up to you. Now what I'm doing is just rolling it and for this um, plant you need to roll it like flat and long, just like a long worm. Now that I'm rolling it like this, I'm just going to use my cutter and just cut a few parts of it. Now what you guys need is three small and three big. That will make the variety of the plant size. Now that I have three small and three big, all I'm going to do is just take the small. What I'm going to do is fold it in half. I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to make it kind of like in a teardrop shape, just like that. And you should, at the end of this, you should have three small teardrops and three big teardrops. This is really important to have a variety of size. That is what I used in my pot plant charm. So now what I'm going to do, after I have all the teardrop shapes, I'm going to just attach the big one, take up one big one and put the small one underneath it. And then just alter alternate the small and the big. And yeah, just secure it down. And just push them together. And just like so. Um, wow, now it kind of even reminds me like a cactus. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just add in more of the teardrop shapes. Just when I think it is enough, I just stop. You guys can even stop before you use all of your teardrops, three small, three big. Basically, that's six in total. You can even use four or three. It depends on what you like. I'm just using all my six because I want it to be a big plant. So now that I have this, um, all I'm going to do after I have put them all together, I'm going to be taking my cutter. Now you guys can take your cutter as well. Um, and basically all you need to do is just cut the base in half once it's done. So I really like this, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut it. So now what you guys need to do is cut the base off so you can stick properly onto the pot and so it doesn't wobble off because its ends are pointy and spiky like the teardrop. Now what you need to do is just take your pot and put on your plant on the soil. And just secure it down, push it down, and there you have it. I think it looks really cute. You can even add more texture, use different colors, give a variety of different, I don't know, colors onto them, and maybe patterns. You guys can do anything with your plant, and this is how you make it. So I hope you guys liked this video, I hope it helped you and if you guys made it, please comment down below, hashtag I made it, it would be so amazing if you guys did. Bye!